should be a barn burner. And Joe Arena will be bringing the field around in car number 74, fanning next door, and it will be Arena as he gladiators his way to an early advantage. Down at the one and two they go, Fanning up on the outside, but as Arena setting the pace off of turn number two, gets a good run down the back stretch. Into three and four, Fanning evens up behind them. They're stacked up to the right, deep in the pack. One car a little bit sideways, they come off the four and complete lap number one. Fanning trying to stay in the upper two of the field. He is currently in the number two spot as he made a good move on the outside. Chad Baxter, he is on the inside. He usually likes the top girls. We'll see if he can wander up there. And then a strong move by Petty. Here comes Kohler, where he wants to be on the inside, currently running fifth. Kohler trying a three-wide move down the front stretch, settles it in back behind as they go side by side without him Petty getting the advantage over Baxter. Kohler likes the inside, not afraid of the outside. As he goes up top, trying to climb that ladder off of turn number four. He and Baxter go even at the strike, down to one. Trying to get to that third long in the ladder, but Baxter has a little bit of an energy surge. He moves into third after Fanning for second. Now trying to level down the corner. Clements gets sideways. The 13 of Williams makes contact. A couple of other cars deep. Margin for error. Adam Petty on the inside of the second row as we pick up the tempo. Off of turn number four, they come, and Arena once again gets a good jump on the 11 of Finley as they head down to turn number one. Off the corner, they come. Finley, <laughs> as the car goes around, it looks like Ghost and to reestablish himself in the lead as he helter skelters his way off the corner and takes Finley with him. Keep an eye on Petty. Petty wants to move up to the front. He's in the yellow number 57. And on the outside of him is the. Zero and Baxter just slapped the outside wall. We got chaos again. Big trouble on the middle of the car. But right gets sideways. Two, three, four cars involved up there in turn number one. Four. Editors. Right now, it looks like the moment of truth has re-arrived as we are getting ready to start. John Porter, a late arrival. And up at the foot. Arena getting the upper hand. And we got problems up in turn number three. One car up against the wall already. And uh, there was a mechanical problem. He pulled out of, out of line. And uh, they get run down instead. But it looks like this time we are ready to try again. Let's see what happens to Arena. He's been pretty consistent on these starts. He is again as he has a slender advantage by about a breadcrumb over the 11 of Fanning. And now Fanning goes to work as he is able to jackrabbit his way into the lead. Fanning gets a little bit of an advantage. And look at Baxter, work that outside lane. Petty trying to dive down to the inside off of four. Arena sits in the number two spot as they hit turn number one. Arena trying to take the groove away from Petty, unable to do it. The top five cars could fit in a birdcage. Doing the tripping at the front is Corey Fanning, Arena, by a nostril over Petty, and right behind them, the combination of Baxter and Kohler. And how about Vinny Pangolin sitting right there behind him, and he's looking for more down the back straightaway, taking a look to the inside of Baxter. Kohler up into the fourth spot now. Petty sits second, but it is Kid Chaos leading the charge off of four. Leading by about the length of an icicle is Corey Fanning. Cutting the gap in a hurry was Petty. As Petty, he did good work in between turns one and two. Arena cruising in third, Kohler behind him. Then uh, Baxter looking to make a statement down low. Pangolinen. As a, where did he come from? He is in the top five, and up at the front, we could have a battle for the lead between Fanning, and here comes Petty, with elbow room underneath the 11. Down the inside goes out, Petty, cut off the arena at the city in the third spot. That's a long way to go, 17 laps, only eight laps have been completed. Yeah, and the way this one's going, I'll tell you what, anything can happen. As they come off the phone and wind it up, Petty and Fanning cross off the stripe, and it is Petty setting the pace. Fanny shuts the door on Pangolini. That leaves the outside door open. And Baxter trying to work himself through. Look at Joe Kohler down deep in the field, working his way down low. One car sparking down by hard hit. Because of 48 up in the wall, up in three and four. Porter gathers it back in. And we are under yellow, though.
Now, on the bright side, is Adam Petty looking for a second consecutive win here at the Speed Bowl. And let's see what kind of escape he can get. A great one. Now it's a battle for second. Down at the one and two, and Bagley has got the run down on the inside. Vinny P gets the second spot away from Finley. Finley trying to battle back, has a crossover move down to the inside of Pagalina. They roll off of turn number four, but give it to Vinny for the number two spot. Then in fourth is Baxter Rigo. Rounds out our top five, battle for second. Trying to get the nose of that car underneath Pangolina. Was that number 11 of Fanning? Now Baxter is up on the outside where he loves to run. Baxter found the top side off of turn number four. That opens up the bottom lane for George Rigo in that black and white number one. Scott Zerdinsky Jr. and Austin Erickson battling. Here comes Chris Gomes working himself up through the back. He works the inside lane there. That's the battle for seventh. If you've written off Chris Gomes, use your eraser. Because right now he is trying to erase Serodinsky, and he does. So Gomes has moved up into the top five, and he is a, a, the top six. So Gomes coming back from the graveyard. But a big lead has been opened up by Adam Petty. He leads by a mountain range over Pangolina. A little deeper in the field, Erickson. And Sudinsky, the battle of the double deuces, racing into one and two. Erickson on the inside. Sudinsky up top with the above grade excavation machine. Hanging tight down into three and four. Baxter has fourth, but his back bumper is being tormented by Rigo, and Rigo opens up a hole for himself, and he goes through it. Good job by Rigo as he got uh, the, the car to move up, and then he was able to get under him. So good move by Rigo against Baxter. Down to the inside, they he come off of turn number four. He's got Gomes glued to his rear bumper. Baxter hanging tight up top. Gomes looking for a way by. Thought about a three wide move, settled it in, tries it off the two as they graduate. Sound Back straight into three. That is a battle for fourth. Now taking control on the outside is Baxter in his hip pocket. That is Gomes, also in the middle, Rigo, and here comes Rigo as he is trying to windsprint his way inside Baxter. It looks like he is going to pull off the move. Nine laps to go this time, and Adam Putty has checked out and pulled away, but what a run by Vinny Pangolini in the number two spot. As they battle, look at the battle, Rigo and Gomes knocking on the door. They come off the two, Baxter with a run up top. Gomes gets on these Regals they head down into three. And Gomes just didn't have enough room as Regal put the squeeze on him. And when he did, Baxter was only able to open up some daylight between he and the one X. Leading by almost the entire backstretch. Adam Petty as he is able to sizzle out of the corner. Now in second, Pangolina, and he has to worry about Fanning and Baxter because of the intensity that Rigo and Gomes has battled. Uh, Baxter has been able to have a very sturdy advantage in fourth. Okay, he sits fourth in the battle for fifth between Erickson and Rigo has subsided with Erickson taking the spot. Rigo back to sixth, and he continues to hold up the rest of the field. Gomes now takes a look down to the inside. Rigo slams out, door shut, battle to turn number one. They continue to race hard, and now Rigo, a little bit of a jump as he heads into turn number three. Right there with him is Gomes as they whistle their way on the outside, making a move. That is Kohler, and he picks up two for the price of one. One going around Gomes and going around Rigo. Yeah, it's like Rigo got caught up with the 10, and Kohler just snuck right through on the outside. Now Gomes sneaks one up top to take that spot away. It was like the automatic door to supermarket. Kohler just went right through it. Petty. He is heading into turn four, and nobody is near him. Social distancing for the number 57 of Petty, trying to win back to back, and he could move back in the middle of the point race with one race left. Well, you know, we talked to him earlier tonight, and he was ecstatic on the way that car ran two weeks ago. They had picked up on something, and uh, obviously they found a little bit more for tonight because that car is a rocket ship. His 
dad, Dave, his uncle, Dean, have uh, really helped him put that car right at the top, and he comes off of turn number four with a white flag. Out one more circuit to go for Adam Petty. And a great run for Vinny P. Pangolin on in second. Fanning in third with the spotlight is on Adam Petty for the second straight week as he is able to gangbuster his way into turn four for the final time. Checkered flag rolling high in the air. Dean Petty goes back. Adam Petty goes back to back. Picks up his second win. Vinny Pangolini, his best run of the season for second. Corey Fanning for third. Chad Baxter fourth. And Austin Erickson out, rounding out the top five. Corey will finish sixth. Seventh will be Gomes.